Mars is a planet full of mysteries and possibilities. As we dream of building a second home beyond Earth, one question stands out. Can we find water on Mars? The answer is a big yes. For over 200 years, astronomers have spotted ice at Mars's poles. But thanks to modern space missions, we now know that ice isn't just at the poles. It is under the surface across the planet. In 2008, NASA's Phoenix Mars lander made history when it dug into the soil and uncovered water ice. Other missions like Mars Odyssey and Mars Express confirmed that if all of Mars's ice melted, it could flood the planet under a 35 meter deep ocean. Mars may look like a barren wasteland today, but its surface tells a different story. Ancient riverbeds, dried up lakes, and vast basins whisper of a time when water once flowed freely. Even now, dark streaks appear on Martian slopes suggesting that salty liquid water may trickle down in the warmer months, though it vanishes quickly under Mars' thin atmosphere. But water doesn't just exist as ice or fleeting trickles. Mars's rocks hold water within their very structure. These minerals, rich in hydrated compounds like clays and sulfates, provide undeniable proof. Mars was once a water world, hidden beneath the dusty windblown surface, far from the deadly cold and raging dust storms. Massive underground reservoirs of liquid water have been detected. Scientists believe these hidden oceans lie 6 to 12 miles below the surface, a buried sea waiting for discovery. If all this water were on Earth, it could fill entire oceans. But how did it stay liquid in such an extreme environment? Pressure, salt, and underground heat may be the key. This buried treasure could one day quench the thirst of future Martian explorers. Water on Mars faces an unforgiving enemy, the planet's thin atmosphere. Any liquid exposed to the surface evaporates almost instantly, but Mars has a trick up its sleeve. Salty brines hidden beneath the surface keep water from freezing solid. Just like how road salt prevents ice on Earth, these brines lower water's freezing point, allowing small amounts of liquid to persist. In Mars's frigid soil, where temperatures drop far below freezing, these brines may be the last remnants of surface water. Could they also hold traces of microbial life? That remains one of the greatest questions in planetary science. Not all water on Mars is frozen or buried underground. Some of it is locked away within the planet's rocks. This isn't liquid water, but rather moisture bound to minerals, trapped for centuries within the Martian crust. Extracting this water won't be as simple as melting ice. It would require heating the rocks until they release their stored moisture, a slow but valuable process for future explorers. We can turn Mars' hidden water into something astronauts can drink thanks to advanced technology. The first method coming to my mind is mining ice. Robotic drills could dig beneath the surface to collect ice, which would then be melted and filtered. Even basic tools like shovels and rototillers could help break up the frozen ground. The second one is heating minerals. Some Martian rocks contain up to 50% water by weight. By applying heat, much like how plaster of Paris is made on Earth, we can extract this trapped moisture. Last but not least, we can use microwave technology to heat water-bearing minerals, turning moisture into steam for collection. But there's a catch. Martian water is toxic in its raw form. It contains dangerous chemicals called perchlorates, which can damage the thyroid and lungs. Before we drink it, we must purify it. There are three ways to do that. As part of biotech solutions, scientists are developing bacteria that can break down perchlorates into harmless compounds like oxygen and chloride. Advanced catalysts can neutralize toxins in the water thanks to chemical reactions. The third way is filtration and heating. Just like on Earth, distillation and filtration methods can make Martian water safe to drink. Transporting water from Earth to Mars is expensive. Every drop we bring takes up space and fuel. Tapping into Mars's natural water supply will be the key to long-term survival. Water is essential for hydration and sanitation. Future Martian greenhouses will need water to grow crops. By splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, we can create fuel for return missions. Yes, we can drink water on Mars, but only after we extract and purify it. With the right technology, Martian water can support future missions and even permanent human settlements. The Red Planet is no longer just a distant dream. It holds the most essential resource for survival, waiting for us to unlock its secrets.